Would you like me to discuss Scar's war in the Lion Guard? Do it. War has taken over the Pride Lands. You may remember the battle for Pride Rock or the fight in the Outlands, but those were isolated skirmishes. In the war for the Pride Lands, innocents and leaders have been attacked, armies have formed, many battles have been fought, and of course, the lion who began this conflict was none other than Scar. Hello, I'm Isaac from Watson Videos, where I discuss fun topics for fun people. My goal is to spread the magic of Disney to all of you, and to do that today, I'm going to break down how Scar began a war in the Pride Lands. Also, to learn more about Scar's war after the video, I provided all the links to the movies and the resources I used in the description. Years after the events of The Lion King, a group of hyenas led by Janja longed to be free of the Outlands and destroy Simba and his second-born son Kion's Lion Guard. But after noticing Kion communicating with Mufasa, they felt they needed the leadership and wisdom of a great lion as well, if they ever hoped to become victorious. By combining Kion's mystical roar of the elders and a Bacora staff into the Outlands volcano, the hyenas were able to secretly revive Scar. Oh, are you? Yes. I am Scar. Scar's revival was the key to beginning this war, and I will leave a link to my previous video where I broke down that reviving event in more detail in the description. With Scar's soul returning to the physical world, his plots began to unfold and slowly escalate tensions once more. In the episode of The Lion Guard titled Let Sleeping Crocs Lie, after Scar's spies discover some crocodiles are frustrated with how Simba is managing the Pride Landers during the dry season, the snake Ashuri is sent to convince the crocodile Kiburi and his followers to attack Simba. After the assault is halted, Simba banishes Kaburi and his followers to the Outlands, where Scar recruits them for his plans. I have plans for you and your crocodiles. Big plans indeed. Scar reveals to his current followers he is assembling an army of animals in the Outlands under his rule. All who were wronged by Simba in the Prylanders, except for Zira and the other banished lions for some reason, would soon come together to gloriously march on the Prylands to bring it to its knees. Once more, Scar shall rule the Prylands. We shall. With his growing force, Scar continues to act in the shadows with his followers mounting assaults against the defenders of the Pride Lands known as the Lion Guard. In the episode Slept Away, when Veshti, the most powerful member of the Lion Guard, becomes lost within the Outlands, Scar enlists the hyenas and skinks to lure Veshti into a trap in hopes of destroying him. But of course, the rest of the Lion Guard stops the attack. Scar continues to move against the Lion Guard in secret, but he also attacks supporters of the Lion Guard as well. Anyone who could help Kion and his friends was an enemy of Scar, and they either needed to be used to take down the Lion Guard or be destroyed. In Rescue in the Outlands, Janja's clan strikes Kion's hyena friend Jasiri. In the Morning Report, the hyenas kidnap Zazu in hopes he will reveal royal secrets. And in the Bite of Kenge, the hyenas attempt to cripple the elephants in the Pride Lands by targeting the all-important water-filled Takiti melons and paralyze the Lion Guard. It is crazy to me that characters threaten each other's lives in the show. It feels right at home in the Lion King universe, but not always as a Disney Junior show. It's the last game you'll ever play, Zebra! Scar's attacks were occurring at an increasing rate and were escalating in scale, but Scar was not ready to let himself be revealed just yet. He knew with his dominance growing, the spiritually connected Rafiki would soon discover his presence, so he had to make a move against the monkey in the episode titled Divide and Conquer. I feel like every time we learn more about Rafiki, he just becomes more and more powerful. With the alliance with the pack of jackals led by Ray Ray solidified, Scar sent Ray Ray's pack and Janja's clan to attack the Pride Lands in two locations to split up the Lion Guard, but unfortunately for the evil Outlanders, the plan went haywire. Lion Guard worked together to protect Rafiki from the hyenas and the jackals in an all-out battle. And during this battle, Kion saw something. What in the Pride Lands? The guard was able to win the battle, and Rafiki was safe. But from the mark left by Scar's ghost, Kion and his friends knew something horrible and dangerous was still out there. All-out war was approaching, along with the knowledge of Scar's return. The truth would be revealed during the evil lion's grandest plot 
yet. It will be known as the day I stopped Simba and the Lion Guard once and for all. In the episode The Scorpion Sting, during the celebration of the day Simba reclaimed his throne, a servant of Scar named Sumu was sent to discreetly sting the king with his venomous scorpion tail, causing Simba to become extremely ill. Yeah, that's right. Scar attempted to end Simba with an assassin. Not your typical Disney Junior show, I'd say. Knowing the only way to remove the venom was to use volcanic ash, the Lion Guard and Rafiki's apprentice Makini ventured to the volcano in the Outlands where they encountered Kaburi's float, Ray Ray's pack, and Janja's clan on their way to slow them down. Once the Lion Guard reaches the volcano, Kion believes they have won, but then <laughs> they learn the truth. You! I saw you before! In the fire! You're a scar! Yes, Kion, you've guessed correctly. The army of Scar surrounds the Lion Guard. All of Scar's planning up until this point led to this moment. The Outlanders had unified under one evil cause, but they couldn't stop Kion and the Roar. Using the Roar of the Elders, the Lion Guard fights their way out of the volcano with the ash and bring it in time to a fading Simba. With the revival of Scar, he has unified the Outlanders, minus Zera and all of her lions for some reason, under his command, he has built up a league of soldiers and has orchestrated attacks and become a dominant and feared force again. One that could only be stopped by the Lion Guard. Now that Scar has revealed himself to the Pride Lands, the war between the Outlanders and the Pride Landers had officially been set into motion. Well, it seems the war has just begun. So now it's time for the question of the day, sponsored by my patrons. To become a patron yourself, check out my Patreon page at patreon.com slash videos. Why do you think Scar didn't recruit Zira? When I was making this video, that was just something I could not understand and get out of my mind. Let me know your thoughts in the comment section, along with any other ideas you have for future Discovering Disney episodes. If you enjoy discussing Scar's War, then click that like button. And if you're interested in staying up to date with more Magical Lion Guard videos, then click that subscribe button and please follow me on Twitter, Instagram, and Facebook. If you'd like to see more Watson videos, then check out some awesome pics over here. And as always, thanks for watching and have a magical day.